recording again. Where the means of transport are well developed to transmit the goods and passengers in a different parts of a country, it supports for a growth of economies. Growth of economies. Uh, this chapter is very simple chapter, easiest chapter. Easiest chapter, only as a two parts. Simple, transport communication. You are familiar with the transport communication since last four or five years. Means of a transport and communication. Means of transport and communication. There are a few important means of transport. Roadways, sorry, land, land transport, air transport, waterways. Waterways, land transport divided into how many parts? Very good, three parts. Roadways, railways, and pipeline. Pipeline transportation. Pipeline transportation. Pipeline transportation. Pipeline transportation. Airways land me aega. Amal ka diya apne. Pura dhyan do. Pay attention. Airways divided into two parts. Domestic and international airways. Domestic and international airways. Sorry. Adampur is a domestic. How about you? Domestic. Shut your mouth. Please. Batayenge aapko. Domestic and international airways. Waterways again divided into two parts, inland waterways and overseas waterways. Inland waterways work to the rivers, seas, sorry, rivers and the lakes, and overseas waterways work to the sea and oceans. Sea and oceans in between of our countries. Clear? Only, nothing else. Simple. And communication has their two parts, mass communication and personal communication. Personal communication. This is your chapter, easiest chapter. Yes, that's right. Huh? Wait. Cut me, Abhi. Yes, you? Nani, ek to ye aega, lifelines, do some manufacturing aega. Take it. Tisra, money and credit aega, chotha, globalization aega, pass. Let's start this chapter. Hanji. और मैप तीन चैप्टर के आएंगे मिनरल्स के मैप आएंगे उसमें से एक पार्ट दो पॉइंट आएंगे जो आइडेंटिफिकेशन के लिए होंगे माइंस मार्क्ड होंगी आपको आइडेंटिफाई करनी होगी उसके बारे में आपको बताया था कुछ हां जी क्या करें वाटर इनलैंड वाटरवेज ओवरसीज वाटरवेज इनलैंड ओवरसीज ओवरसीज डोमेस्टिक इंटरनेशनल Domestic and international airways. On. Batayenge aapko example bhi. Ek ni cha cha denge ab. Chalein? Okay, thank you. Amrit Pal. Land transport. Roadways. The study of a roadways, they are generally study in context of a road density. Road density means road density refers to the road density refers to road density huh. road density refers to the total number the total number of roads total number of routes present in a region present in region in 100 square kilometers 100 square kilometers the highest road density is present in a kerala highest road density present in kerala 375 kilometers 375 kilometers and the lowest road density as present in a very good jammu and kashmir 10 kilometers Jammu and Kashmir, 10 kilometers. What are the reason? In uh, Kerala, the region, space is a lesser, population concentration is a more. 
that's why the highest root density has a present in kerala lowest in jammu and kashmir due to the undulating surface mountainous regions due to the mountainous regions undulating surfaces 10 kilometers road density is present in jammu and kashmir india's first metal road india's first metal road shesha suri ma constructed in yes grover <laughs> stand up mujaj answer shesha suri marg constructed in which year shesha suri the ruler of patna who forced the humayu to leave india yes first battle of panipat so afterwards ashesha suri constructed the first metal road of india yes grover saksham 15 very good 36 in 1536 15 no need to write here mat likho shesha suri marg this road constructed in between of a sonargaon to peshawar sonargaon now presently it's in bangladesh ye cheez likhi ja sakti hai sonargaon S O N A R G A O N, Sonar Gaon, Sonar Gaon, Sonar Gaon. Presently, it's in a Bangladesh. And to Peshawar, it's in a Pakistan. After the independence, after independence of India, the length of a this Shesha Suri Mag day limit in between of a Delhi to Amritsar, which is now presently known as a National Highway One. National Highway One, Delhi to Amritsar. National Highway One, Delhi to Amritsar. Delhi to Amritsar. India's first metal road constructed in 1536 during by the Shesha Suri. Shesha Suri, known as the National Highway One, in between of a Delhi to the Amritsar, which Jalanda se baat karte. Aapki Jalanda. Haan ji. शेर शाह सूरी मार क्या उसी का नाम था रोड का नाम ये था उसका नेम चेंज किया गया आज इंडिया में टोटल 82 टू हाईवेस है नेशनल हाईवेस ठीक है ना बस कुछ ज्यादा अब ये है नेशनल हाईवे वन पहले शेषा सूरी मार्ग था अब ये ठीक है चले आगे नहीं दोबारा लिखी चलो यस जसलीन सर जो आपने अभी बताया सुनार गांव से पेशावर है वो शेषा सूरी मार्ग नहीं है वो शेषा सूरी मार्ग ही था पर अब नहीं है क्योंकि पार्टीशन के बाद वो जा चुका है हमारा हाँ जी उसका लिंक क्या रहा आप वाघा बॉर्डर से आगे जा सकते हैं विदाउट परमिशन जा सकते हैं तो अच्छी बात है सो so, इसको डिलिमिट किया गया इन बिटवीन ऑफ अ डेली टू द अमृतसर सो एडवांटेजेस ऑफ अ एडवांटेजेस फीचर्स ऑफ अ रोडवेज इट प्रोवाइड एस अ डोर टू डोर सर्विस डोर टू डोर सर्विस अब रेलवे सीरी डायरेक्टली अमृतपाल के घर तक तो नहीं आएगी नहीं आ सकती प्रेफरेबल फॉर अ शॉर्टर डिस्टेंसेस रोडवेज प्रेफर्ड फॉर अ शॉर्टर डिस्टेंसेस शॉर्टर डिस्टेंसेस शॉर्टर डिस्टेंसेस रोडवेज आर इजी टू कंस्ट्रक्ट इन अ डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ अ लैंड फॉर्म्स माउंटेन्स प्लेन्स प्लेटूज डेजर्ट्स रोडवेज इंटरकनेक्ट द production sites to the industries industries to the market and the port cities industries to the market market to the port cities roadways are considered a lifelines of a economy lifelines of economy lifelines of economy which are preferred for movement of a perishable goods perishable goods movement of perishable goods demerits now drawbacks movement of perishable goods like milk vegetable fruits roadways preferred for a movement of a perishable goods perishable goods 
no drawbacks road accidents traffic jams traffic jams drawbacks traffic jams most number of the routes their functioning affected in a seasons these are seasonally affected during as a rainy season most number of routes they demolished routes demolished especially during as a rainy season so now next is a classification of routes first expressways 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 are the expressways are the expressways are the six lane six lane routes six lane routes six lane routes which are constructed and maintained under the nhai national highways authority of india national highways authority of india nhai nhai national highways authority of india these routes are also known as a golden quadrilateral routes golden quadrilateral routes which interlink the metropolitan cities metropolitan cities it interlink metropolitan cities mumbai chennai calcutta delhi calcutta delhi now these are transformed into the eight lane routes eight lane routes eight lane routes eight lane routes these expressways these expressways interconnect north to the south north to south through north south corridor through north south corridor through north south corridor northernmost northernmost place is a shrinagar shrinagar to kanyakumari shrinagar to kanyakumari are the transitional points of a north south corridor its intermediate stations are intermediate in between in dono ke beech mein shrinagar se kanyakumari in between are pathankot jalanda ludhiana yes amritpal next kaun sa aayega we are moving towards a delhi next rajpura saran side mein reh jata hai shrinagar pathankot jalanda ludhiana rajpura ambala panipat kanal bhi side mein hai panipat sonipat sonipat delhi bina bhopal nakodar sorry no 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 sorry sorry nagpur 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 haan ji nag nahi bina bhopal nagpur hyderabad bengaluru madurai tiruvananthpuram and finally in kanyakumari finally in kanyakumari haan ji delhi again shrinagar pathankot jalandhar ludhiana rajpura ambala panipat sonipat delhi bina bhopal nagpur hyderabad bengaluru madurai tiruvananthpuram and kanyakumari kanyakumari next east west corridor eastern most station is a silchar in assam s i l c h a r silchar in assam the western most station western most place is a porbandar porbandar 
P-O-R-B-A-N-D-E-R, Porbandar. These are the transitional points of a east-west corridor. East-west corridor. East-west corridor. Silchar to the Porbandar in Gujarat. Next, national highways. Second type of routes, national highways. National highways. There are total number of 82 highways are there, from which as a national highway seven is the longest highway. Longest highway. Longest highway from Varanasi, Banaras to the Kanyakumari. Varanasi to Kanyakumari as the longest national highway. National Highway, NH7, NH7. National highways are constructed and maintained by the CPWD Department, Central Public Works Department, Central Public Works Department, Central Public Works Department. Central Public Works Department. Next. State highways, state highways, state highways, Anji, state highways, state highways, interlinks, state capitals, state capitals. It interlink as the state capitals, which are constructed by the constructed by state highways constructed by constructed by constructed and maintained by the state public works department state public works department next district highways district highways district highways interconnects district headquarters district headquarters with tehsils and sub tehsils tehsils and sub tehsils yes rana you are living in punjab am i sure okay how many sub tehsils in punjab the elections so district headquarters with the no need to write district headquarters with the tehsils and sub tehsils interconnected by the district highways these roads are constructed and maintained by the Zilla Parishads. Zilla Parishads. Zilla Parishads. Zilla Parishad. Rishit, easternmost place is a Silchar in Assam. S I L C H A R. S I L C H A R. Anji. District highways interconnects the district headquarters. Jalandar with the Philor, with Adampur, with Nakodar, with Guraya. It interconnects with the district highways, which are constructed and maintained by the Zilla Parishads. Next, village roads. Village roads, which interconnects the villages and villages towards as a cities. Villages to the cities. These roads are constructed and maintained by the Pradhan Manti, Pradhan Manti Grameen Sadak Yojana. Roads, unmetal roads, Metal and unmetal routes in a rural areas constructed and maintained by the Pradhan, constructed and maintained under the Pradhan Mantri Grameen Sadak Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Grameen Sadak Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Grameen Sadak Yojana. This program initiated in. Nineteen ninety-eight, very good. Nineteen ninety-eight. It was a tenure of a tenure of a which prime minister? Very good, Grover. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Next, continue.
border roads border roads last six category of roads border roads border roads interconnects the villages located at the borders borders of states and country states and country these roads constructed and maintained by the bro border roads organization border roads organization with collaboration of with collaboration of bsf and itbpf border security force which is responsible to construct roads in a indo pak border indo pak border bro integrated with the bsf with construction of and maintain roads in a border regions in indo pak border roads are constructed in collaboration of a bsf in indo china border itbpf indo tibetan border police force indo tibetan border police force border police force constructed and maintained the roads constructed and maintained the roads indo tibetan border police force constructed and maintained the roads in a border regions in border regions next is a modernization in a roadways what are the modernizations introduced in a roadways first cemented roads india's first cemented road constructed as a as a what's the name of it first cemented road which is also used for a multiple multiple purposes landing of a jet planes yes kya naam hai uska a cemented road india's first cemented road answer answer yes vivan yes you second girl yamuna express way yamuna express way yamuna express way which interlinks the nizamuddin delhi to the agra nizamuddin delhi to agra second modernization in a roadways bot build operate and transfer system b o t build b stands for build o operate t transfer build operate and transfer system in this system government hire the companies private companies for construction and maintenance of roads construction and maintenance of roads roads constructed and maintained by the private companies which are collected as a toll tax toll tax for a period of 10 to 15 years afterwards the completion of a tenure 15 years such road rights these are transferable towards as a government but under this time period of 15 years that company which has collected as a toll tax it has paid the 60% to the government and 40% used by the that owner of a company for the construction and maintenance of roads bot system build operate and a transfer system next third third construction of eight lane roads construction of eight lane roads to reduce congestion to reduce congestion congestion burden of burden of vehicles on roads burden of vehicles on roads for which as a eight lane roads now as a constructed first two lanes in both the sides arrival and a departure as for the heavy vehicles second lane it will be for the light vehicles third lane for the uh three wheelers two wheelers and a fourth lane as a service lane which can be as a occupied by the individuals living in a localities theek hai localities service lane jai yeah. हाँ जी 
Any questions? Next rail beats. Rail beats. Eight minutes remaining. Yes, Tanya. Sir, border roads repeat for the please. Konsa? Border roads. Border roads organization, BRO, constructed and maintained a border roads. Those roads constructed in a borders of a state center, country, and its and its villages. And its villages. BRO collaborated with the BSF for a construction of roads on a Indo Park border of a Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, and Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir, ITBPF, Indo Tibetan Border Police Force, collaborated with the BRO for construction and maintenance of roads in a Indo China border, villages located at a Indo China border of a Jammu and Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, and Himachal Pradesh. Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. Next, railways. Railways. Railways are the cheapest mode of a land transportation for movement of goods and passengers. Movement of goods and passengers. Movement of goods and passengers. India's first railway line constructed during the British age in 1853, Bombay to Thane, and total distance was 34 kilometers. 34 kilometers. The purpose of a Britishers to set up as a railways in country. Railways in country to export, to export the material towards the port areas in port cities. So after the independence, after independence, growth of a railways it supported as the availability of uh, goods in a uh, different parts of a country, different parts of a country, features of a railways, features of railways, features of railways. First, preferable for the longer distances, preferable for a longer distances. Second, cheapest mode of a transportation. Cheapest mode of transportation. Cheapest mode of transportation. It is used to transportation of heavier and bulky material in larger quantities. Heavier material in larger quantities, heavy bulky material in larger quantities. Larger quantities. Next demerits. People traveling without tickets. People traveling without tickets. Hanji? People traveling without tickets. Overburden. Overburden due to high due to high population concentration, population concentration in country, crime, third, crime, criminal activities, most prevalent in a railways, criminal activities, in railways, fourth, unusually pulling chains, unusually pulling chains, responsible for delay in trains, responsible for delay in trains, delay in trains. Railways are classified on a basis of railways classify on the basis of 
gap between the railway tracks gap between the railway lines two lines that are parallelly which are the moving gap between the two railway lines broad gauge meter gauge broad gauge meter gauge narrow gauge narrow gauge in broad gauge gap is in between of a 1 point 1 point 1 point Sit down. One point six seven. One point six seven. One point six seven. These trains are preferably used for. Preferably used for. transportation of materials mal gadiyan second meter gauge as a 1 meter movement of goods movement of goods second meter gauge used for a passenger trains 1 meters 1 meter narrow gauge narrow gauge Point seven six two. Point seven six two. Point six meters. Six two meters. Six two 